Hello and welcome to another Nexus Digital Tutorial. My name is Brady and in today's video we're going to walk you through the app add-on process for the Google Channel app made by Shopify that will link into the back end of your Shopify store website that will allow you to start running ads through Google Merchant Center for Google Shopping and also provide you with the free listings for organic uh, shoppers that are out there. Now, before we get this started and start running through the process of adding on the app and setting it all up, there's a few housekeeping things that I would highly recommend that you do in advance before setting up the app. You can do these while you're in the process of setting up the app, but it's gonna speed things up and save you some time in the long run. And I highly recommend that we do that. So we're gonna start off with that and then we're gonna go into the app add-on process. With that said, let's get started. Okay, so I just wanna quickly clarify something before we begin this these steps aren't necessarily gonna save you time in the long run. They will save you some frustration, some headache, but it will ultimately make the Google Channel app add-on process just a little bit smoother for you so you're not jumping between the app um, setup and then going back into your page and going through your settings and things like that. So it will kind of save you some time in that sense and more so just some frustration just making things a little bit easier to do. So what you're gonna do from your Shopify account in your settings section, these are the areas that you wanna uh, focus in on. The first one is your legal section, which is right here uh, from your settings along the bottom hand, you'll see it along the bottom hand side here, um, your settings section here. And then you're gonna go into the legal section and you wanna set up your refund policy, your privacy policy, your terms of service, your shipping policy, okay? Now, uh, what's really great about um, Shopify is uh, if you don't have access to these templates or you don't have this information, um, you can actually create, or Shopify will create a basic template for you and you can kind of just kind of go in and modify certain elements if you don't know what you're doing. Um, otherwise, yeah, you should have uh, some of the stuff on file or it should already be existing on your actual website. So you're gonna put that, plug that information in um, and then along the bottom, you'll just see this uh, save button. Just click on that and you're good to go. After that, you're gonna go back into your online store. And you're gonna go into your navigation. And this is where you're gonna click on your footer. And this is where you wanna add in and make sure that these elements are present on your website. Uh, after you've got them in place, um, Shopify will automatically kind of include them or uh, look to include them onto your website. But these are the things you wanna set up first. So you're gonna click on your footer menu and you wanna hook up your privacy policy, your terms and service, your refund policy, and your shipping policy. And it's really quite easy to do. Um, you'll be able to add them in, but you can just kind of see, you're gonna click on the edit button you're gonna type in the name, I've already typed in the privacy policy, and then when the link comes up, uh, you'll automatically be prompted to go to these sections or to put in like a URL, just kind of scroll down and then you'll see like the policy section. And then right away, they've automatically got them kind of prompted in from that other page. So you just wanna click on privacy policy and then you'll apply the changes, right? And you wanna do that for terms and service, refund and your shipping. And then you're gonna save the menu and then after you're gonna go right back into your um, online store, you're gonna go to customize, and then you wanna highlight your footer. And this is again where they're kind of already in place, but you're gonna add these elements in your, uh, your address, your phone number, and your email. Google Merchant Center requires that these are on your website. There's no getting around it. So the easiest way is just kind of chuck them on your uh, footer. And then you're gonna add in a menu option. And that menu option will automatically prompt you to allow you to add in those elements. Your, uh, and I've just labeled it info, but you can put in your privacy policy, your terms of service, your refund policy and your shipping policy. And then again, including your address, your phone number and your email. It just makes things go a lot smoother and there's no hassle from uh, Google to give you approval and such. And after you complete those things, uh, you're ready to move on to the next phase. 
Okay, so you've added the legal pages to your uh, footer section. You've added your contact details, your email, phone number, and address so people can contact you for Google Shopping requirements. Uh, and we're ready to set up the Google Channel app. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little bit glitchy at times, and it, sometimes it doesn't function 100% smoothly. However, if you're just starting up, it is a free app. If you don't have a lot of products, this is probably the best route to start at before you move on to something like Flexify or Google uh, Feed for Google Shopping, which are paid uh, service feeds. And those depend on how many SKUs you have in your or how many items you have in your inventory that will affect your subscription for those. Now, uh, let's get going and we'll see how everything goes. Okay, so to begin, you're going to want to open up your browser and you're going to want to go to Shopify's app store. In the app section, you're going to want to select Google Channel. And you want to find the one that's made by Shopify. You're going to want to click on that. And you're going to want to add the app and you're going to put in your uh, Shopify URL. And if you haven't already logged in, it'll log you in. Choose your profile. And it should redirect you back right into your store. And you're gonna go through all of the app um, guidelines and setup permissions. You know, scroll down to the bottom, add the sales channel. You can go through and obviously go through all of these things uh, and the requirements and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna go into add the sales channel. And the next step is to connect your Google account. And you'll log in with um, the account that you set everything up with. It's gonna say what they require permissions for. I'm going to allow. Okay. Um, should be able to add the refund policy and all the terms of service. Going to add those policy pages. This is one of the things I suggest you do before creating uh, the account or going through this process. I'm going to confirm that we have the physical business address, a phone number, and the email address. I've added these to the footer of the page so they're uh, visible. And there's also a contact page where people have uh, access to see all this information as well. I'm going to confirm. And once you get your account connected or your Google channel uh, connected through the app and the channel and the setup process, you can actually just create a brand new Merchant Center account directly from the tool. We are going to create a new account. Okay. Now we're gonna move on. You're gonna select your target market. And here will be Canada. Language will be English. Save. Now the next thing that we'll have to do is set up your uh, shipping settings or manage your shipping settings. You can automatically import them from uh, your Shopify account. However, if you're using uh, an outside tool, um, in this case we're running things through Canada Post, it may not work. And yeah, so there you go. And you can kind of set up uh, a maximum flat rate shipping, but what we'll do is just kind of click manual and we'll set that within uh, Google Merchant Center after. And then you go through your terms of service. This is the last one here that our setup is complete. And you can see that we've got our products that are pending. And this could take a couple days up to 
uh, I've heard as much as a week, but for the most part, um, in my experiences or in our experiences, at 72 hours is generally like uh, the cutoff where everything kind of uh, goes in place. And actually here you can see Google has said it could take three to five business days. Okay, um, not gonna lie, there were a couple of glitches in there that you guys didn't see. One of the main ones, I had already set up a Google Merchant Center account for this particular client, um, and the system didn't identify or recognize that uh, Google Merchant Center account, nor the sub account that was it was listed for. So I ended up having to create a new one directly in the app, which was fine. It all worked out. There was also the little bit of the snafu with uh, the shipping policies that didn't get picked up. Regardless, everything's in place. All of our products are under review and they'll be set to go, which gives you enough time to go into your Google Merchant Center account to set up the remainder of the elements that you need in place your shipping, your taxes, your brand information, uh, linking your account to your Google Ads, linking your account to your Google My Business. Um, there's a handful of things you need to do, but don't worry about it. Nexus Digital has you covered, and we've got a tutorial for that as well. Uh, for this or any other tutorial information that you're looking for a little bit of help on, please feel free to reach us at Nexus Digital, or visit us, sorry, at nexusdigital.co. Check out our resource section. Visit us on YouTube or any of our social channels. Please, please feel free to drop us a line. Let us know what you're struggling with, what you need help with, and we'll be sure to ha have a video put out there for you to help you along the way. And with that said, we'll see you next time.